Hello everyone, welcome back to Engineering and Economy. We usually hire solar power consultant before starting the solar power project or before making a decision to invest our money on the solar power project. This is because there are a lot of confusion going on about how much actual revenue or the income solar power can generate. In other words, how much profit solar power project can make over the 25 years time. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you about how to calculate solar power output and uh, that is the energy, kilowatt hour of energy and then I explain about how to calculate the revenue in each year and then explain about the um, cash flow diagram and uh, we will discuss about some sensitivity analysis at the end of the video where the design uh, goes wrong or where the estimated revenue goes wrong, what factor affecting this um, inappropriate design or inappropriate prediction of about the income or the profit and that will uh, summarize why we need the, the analyze uh, the revenue and the design before starting the solar power project. Let's jump into the actual uh, learning. This is the cash flow diagram for solar PV investment. So as we know solar PV investment, the solar PV project has lifespan of 25 years. So we will get the revenue for every year from year one to year 25. So a simple cash flow represents 25 years duration and this is noted the years, number of years. And the at the beginning, we invest the uh, total investment cost to the project. And every year we are going to get the revenue. So every year up to the year 25, we are going to get the revenue. And uh, in this analysis, we or the calculation, we ignore the maintenance cost. And uh, after 12 years, 10 to 12 years, we may need to replace the uh, inverters, but we ignore for the simplicity of this calculation. So in a simple term, uh, as an investor point of view, we are going to check the profit. But there is uh, another question that revenue comes along the years every year. So that we have to uh, discuss how to bring back to the, the net present value that it will be in the future video. But today's video, just to complete this cash flow diagram. At the end of this session, you will complete this cash flow diagram. So let's move to the next slide. So solar PV investment and cash flow, to decide this, uh, to create a cash flow diagram, we had to evaluate these five items. So calculate the total investment cost. And this total investment cost, we can simply get from the um, solar uh, panel companies. So if you ask for the quotation, they will provide number of quotation so from their different companies pro provide quotation from there we can find the investment cost total in a simple way and then calculate the average solar energy production per day so this is a important calculation we are going to look at how we can calculate the solar production or kilowatt hour energy per day and then find the feed-in tariff this is also very simple we can go to the government website or the electrical company website and see how much they are paying for us if we sell the or we if we export the solar power uh, solar energy to the grid and then we are going to find calculate the first year revenue and the following year revenues let's move to the next slide so now what is the size of the solar PV so in this analysis or in this calculation we are going to take 50 kilowatt solar power system so it's very simple we decide the size of the uh, PV system is 50 kilowatt and this is a commercial uh, scale solar PV system and uh, this 50 kilowatts, what is the cost? So in Australia, the cost of 50 kilowatt uh, system around uh, $50,000. And this includes the solar panels and inverters and mounting electrical kits and installation cost. So all together, all together, the total cost of investment is $50,000. So you don't need to worry about uh, different costs if you are listening from uh, India or Sri Lanka. Uh, it's, it's just a uh, number we can replace with what this actual cost in Sri Lanka or actual cost in India so we can understand the, uh, the context okay how much revenue the solar PV system will generate in the first year so that is the next part so how we can calculate so uh, in order to get the revenue the, our solar panels need to generate kilowatt hour of energy and sell it to the grid so now we are considering 50 kilowatt system and we are considering that whatever power whatever energy is generated it will be uh, sell to it will be sold to the grid. So it means that we are not uh, going to consume any uh, energy. You can imagine that this is a commercial scale solar power investment. We are uh, putting this investment on the land or somewhere. So we are generating electricity and sell it to the grid, okay? So now we need to calculate the how much electricity can generated by 50 kilowatt of 
system and uh, how much electricity can be generated by 50 kilowatt of uh, system per day so that is a question so we have a simple equation you don't need to worry about this as an equation this is a very simple that uh, daily watt hour of energy generation equal to power in watts or kilowatts multiplied by daily peak sun hour so now um, what are the two things here important i highlight in this entire slide so whatever i highlight in yellow color that means it's a it's a point to discuss the things to discuss so the power so when we say um, 50 kilowatt panel is set by manufacturer it's a 50 kilowatt are we going to get the 50 kilowatt output all the time that is a one question to think another thing is that daily peak sunlight hours how we know what is the daily peak sunlight hours so those things we are going to discuss in the next slide okay so before that what are the losses associated so with the solar power. so any electrical system we know there is a losses associated with so solar power installation also there's a losses that's why i'm trying to say that 50 kilowatt system we are not going to get the 50 kilowatt some amount of uh, kilowatt going to be uh, in losses so see look at the losses we have the inverter loss and uh, temperature losses there are a lot of losses dc cabling losses ac cabling losses shading losses dust because of the dust shading because of solar panels if tree or any other the blockage um, appear and sort of and a mismatch this is uh, basically the design related loss is it's a is a designer if we do the proper design uh, we will study in the next uh, uh, sessions like a uh, proper design parallel series combination then we can uh, uh, reduce this uh, mismatch losses so now the question is how uh, someone can these are the ranges like average ranges of the losses see this five percent to twenty percentage and this is four percent to ten percentage so the thing is that how a designer can decide what what is the losses how much inverter loss what is the temperature losses so we'll move on we will discuss in the last sensitive analysis what we had to do uh, further so uh, so usually most of the solar companies and consultants they take 20 to 20 per, 25 percentage of total power loss um, happen for a solar pv system so in this analysis um we will consider 20 percentage of loss it means like our system is 50 kilowatt system so our system is 50 kilowatt system so 20 percentage will be lost and we will get only 40 kilowatt of power output so we'll move on to the next slide so you think why 50 kilowatt rated solar panel only gives 40 kilowatts so again losses is one of the reason why these losses uh, appear in technically uh, what is the idea here I mean when manufacturers say 50 kilowatt but we are getting 40 kilowatts so this is a contradiction if you want to explain this to the general people i mean the people who want to install the solar panels um, you can uh, explain this way like uh, uh, the the solar uh, s solar panels are manufactured in in particular factory so in that factory environment or they they we call standard test condition in that standard test condition they uh, the, these panels can able to generate 50 kilowatt of uh, power output but if you bring that panel to our house or near the land area the the condition is different temperature is different solar radiation is different the tilt angle and the installation style is different the cable you are using is different i mean a lot of parameters are different so that's why we get the different i mean less than the rated output so to not to confuse we will discuss about what, what are the standard test conditions in the future videos now we move forward with the finding the cash flow so the today's objective is to find the cash flow of the solar pv investment so so now what does it mean by daily peak sun hour so this means like every uh, country we have every region every particular area we can from the meteorology department we can find through the data this is also the research based thing so through the data through the analysis they come up with average what is the daily solar peak sun hour so this is the uh, this is the average i mean you don't need to think that do we have a solar radiation every day but if uh, some days are raining days you don't need to worry about that because this is the daily average because one day we have a, a lot of solar radiation and the days we have less radiation so altogether they make an average so that average says that this is the uh, peak sun hour so in a layman term that peak sun hour are the times when solar pv power generation is at optimum level so we are going to talk about how many hours the solar pv uh, uh, so, i mean solar radiation and uh, 
temperature the, the feasible for the solar panel to uh, produce power so the the actual the right amount of solar radiation that is 1000 watts per meter square that is the peak sun hour so so uh, how we can calculate this uh, peak sun hour as i said from the meteorology department website you can go and check you can google see that what is in your region what is solar peak sun hour so in australia where i'm living in perth it is five to uh, five to six hours so for this calculation i will take average that 5.5 hours because these are all range so as as i said these are all a discussion point we will discuss in the last sensitivity analysis so 5.5 hours we will take 5.5 hours as the solar peak sun hour daily solar peak sun hours so now we go back to the equation substitute data to find the daily solar energy production so if you go back to the equation and in in uh, in power in watt we are going to put 40 kilowatt because after the losses it become 40 kilowatts we have our panel is 50 kilowatts but we are reducing the losses we are getting 40 kilowatts only so 40 kilowatts into times 5.5 peak sun hours we will get two, 220 kilowatt hour of energy per day so we are coming closer to the cash flow diagram okay so per day we are getting 220 kilowatt hour so so per month it's simple uh, per month we will get 6600 kilowatt hour then per year into 12 we got 79200 kilowatt hour so this is the first year first year after your new new solar panels installed the very first year you will get 79200 kilowatt hour of energy this is estimated this is no need to be exact amount this is ex estimated amount of uh, solar production solar energy production so now this part is over we keep that in one uh, one side that we move move on to how much is the selling price so we move on to the feed in tariff so feed in tariff in uh, Australia because in different countries different price and price are changing every year sometime uh, between few years sometime it depends on the regulation of the country the the country's uh, energy regulations okay in Australia make it simple it between 7 cents to 16 cents for every kilowatt of energy so so there are different type of uh, tariff uh, system and uh, we will discuss in the future video so let's make it simple we assume that 10 cents per kilowatt hour we are, go we are going to get 10 cents from the electrical company uh, for exporting the whatever we produce from our solar panel uh, uh, when we export to grid we will get 10 cents okay let's make it simple then what is the first year revenue so we already found 79,200 kilowatt hour we can able to generate in the first year now first year revenue become into 10 cents it become seven thousand nine hundred twenty dollars it's a good money right like you are investing fifty thousand dollars and in the very first year you're getting around eight thousand seven thousand nine hundred twenty dollars okay now now do you think the second year uh, will be the same amount of uh, dollars i mean same amount of revenue you will get or different values so actually according to the national renewable energy laboratory it's estimates that solar panel degradation actually solar panel degrade have any equipment you buy you you sit like it, it degrade over the years so it, it applicable to solar panel as well so 0 to 0 0.5 percentage to 0 0.8 percentage is degradation i mean the, its efficiency is going to lose by degradation i mean the the aging of solar panels in simple term aging of solar panels so it means we take for simple we take 0.5 percentage efficiency loss because of aging of solar panels so it means the second year whatever revenue you get on this first year minus 0.5 percentage of loss it means like you can multiply by 99.5 percent okay in that way in the year of 2050 year your solar panel only will generate 87.5 percent of whatever the energy generated in the first year so in the, in simple this this is very good to analyze in the 2050 year so if you multiply 0 0.5 into 25 so in the 2050 year you will get only this much of uh, energy production from the uh, solar panels okay move to the next slide so yes so um, one more concern here uh, in the second year uh, solar uh, I mean the selling price may go higher I mean you know like like a depreciation the cost of living increases so electricity price increases when electricity price increases 
whatever price the electric company paying to you also should increase in, in technique in logically the uh, selling price or your your tariff feed-in tariff will be increased but at the moment we ignore this because in some cases for two to three years they won't there is no increment in uh, selling price by the uh, uh, given by the electric company uh, most of the cases uh, the the investor and the electric company have a little longer time um, the agreement between them with a fixed rate selling price so at the moment not to confuse we ignore this fact and move on to the next thing so um, because I uh, take note that the most of the countries like they have the agreement between these uh, investors and the government there are different type of agreement Th those kind of things we will touch in the later because to make it simple today's uh, objective is to uh, show you a cash flow uh, uh, diagram and represent what is the investment what is the revenue and how we can simply calculate it so so second year we can calculate from this as I said uh, the only changes is you are adding only 99.99.5 percent of what you generate in the first year so your revenue reduce a little bit not too much so earlier we got seven seven thousand nine hundred twenty now about forty dollars less and we got this amount and now we are back to the important slide that is the cash flow diagram so it's very simple we invest fifty thousand dollars that is our total investment and in the first year we got seven thousand nine hundred and in the second year we received seven thousand eight hundred and eighty likewise you can calculate what is the third year like another 0 0.5 percentage re reduction because of the aging of solar panels likewise every year we get 0 0.5 percent reduction from the original I mean the the, the second year like one percentage reduction from the first year one percentage loss from your first year revenue likewise at the 2050 year we are getting this value 6930 this is the as I said earlier, like that uh, 12 point is it 12.5 percentage? Yeah, uh, loss from the the whatever revenue comes from first year. You can uh, compare that first year we got 7,920, and here we are getting 6,930. It means like thousand dollars, almost thousand dollars lost due to aging of solar panels. So uh, today's this is what I'm wanted to discuss. Uh, why uh, I wanted to discuss with numerical data because most of the um, uh, teaching of in the website you can't uh, see this kind of explanation with the numerical data because it's difficult actually uh, to put the numerical values because this 50,000 is changing the investment cost is changing every six months like now it is around around 50,000 in, in Australia if you ask after six months the total uh, solar panel cost cost of install uh, the total investment cost of solar panel system is changing likewise uh, the parameters are changing now okay uh, let's uh, think about this is the design okay this is matching with the actual uh, what are the the solar installers are, uh, the solar companies are um, claiming or advising that uh, six to seven years payback period so if you look at like around uh, we got eight thousand if let's say rounded to eight thousand so we will get like in um, in uh, seventh year we will we will get this fifty thousand so eight thousand eight thousand like rough calculation you can guess like in six to seventh year you can get the uh, entire money back to uh, uh, your hand so now the the question is that um, uh, in the next video we will look at that those kind of things how to analyze the actual profit all sort of things because the thing is that uh, these uh, cost uh, what we are getting after 25 years is a different uh, value of money this is not the real value of money we have to bring this value to the the initial period all the values to the initial period so that will we will discuss later now uh, let's go back to on this cash flow where uh, the errors of when you ask a consultant to design the system or consultant to advise you whether you can uh, invest on uh, this project or not where the problem comes okay I'll go back to the